Are you guys seeing more pre's used in soybeans as a whole? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would say in general, everything ebbs and flows. Yeah. With the glyphosate days, it was all we could do to get a pre in the tank yeah. after that. But I think a lot of farmers have realized glyphosate, it depends on where you're standing, it, it, does, it either kills grasses or it's a good surfactant or it still may kill some broadleaf. Right. Well, everybody's starting to realize we've got to have our pre's. Yeah. Because once, once we get past pre-emerge, and you look at what you're applying in soybeans post, that's a pretty limited arsenal of products. Right. There's just a handful of modes of action, and that's why we're, we rely so heavily on our pre's yeah. and soybeans. So. And one of the phenomenons that's come around in the last seven, eight years, and I've done it on my farmers, we're planting soybeans first, and I feel like it's almost hurting our, our weed program because we're asking it well, to control for so much longer. Reasons why we've done that. Seed treatments. Think about our seed treatments today yep. that we didn't have 15 years ago. It's yep. allowing you to plant earlier. Better genetics, better germ, all that's getting these products up. But what farmers forget is I've used three or four maybe a month off the clock before it really even got up to V1. So I'm going to have to adjust that rate to compensate for what I've already used up. Yeah.